Imagine this, far beyond our solar system, hidden in the darkness of space, there could be a world just like ours, a second Earth. But here's the kicker, we haven't found it yet. Could you be living on a planet orbiting another star? What if it's out there, waiting for us to discover it? Today we're embarking on a journey to find Earth 2.0. And no, I'm not talking about a new season of some Netflix show. This is real life. Our journey begins with a simple question. What makes Earth so special? It's more than just the water, the breathable air, or the protective magnetic field. It's the delicate balance of conditions that have allowed life to thrive for billions of years. But what if Earth isn't unique? What if scattered across the universe, there are countless planets where life could exist, or even already does? We call these potential homes exoplanets. Scientists have been searching for these distant worlds for decades, and each new discovery brings us closer to answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? But finding another Earth isn't as simple as it sounds. And there's one massive hurdle. The universe is vast and exoplanets are tiny specks in comparison. Think about it. Finding one is like spotting a grain of sand from miles away. We can't just look through a telescope and say, ah, there's Earth 2.0. Instead, astronomers rely on ingenious methods. The most popular, the transit method, where we observe a star and wait for a planet to pass in front of it, casting a tiny shadow. Sounds simple, right? Well, it's a bit like detecting a fly crossing a streetlight from 100 miles away. The real excitement comes when we actually find these planets, some of them orbiting in the habitable zone, the so-called Goldilocks area where conditions could be just right for liquid water. Each discovery feels like unraveling a cosmic mystery. But here's where it gets tricky. Not all exoplanets are created equal. You see, many of the planets we found are nothing like Earth. Some are gas giants, bigger than Jupiter. Others are rocky, but orbit so close to their stars that their surfaces are molten. And then there's the harsh reality that space is really far apart. Even if we find the perfect planet, traveling there might take millennia with current technology. But what if we didn't have to travel? What if Earth 2.0 is much closer than we think? The discovery of the TRAPPIST-1 system in 2017 changed everything. This star, located just 39 light years away, hosts not one, not two, but seven Earth-sized planets, three of which are in the habitable zone. Could one of these planets be our Earth 2.0? While we don't know yet, astronomers are using every tool in their arsenal including the James Webb Space Telescope, to probe these planets for signs of water, atmosphere, and who knows, maybe even life. It's a tantalizing thought. After all, the search for exoplanets isn't just about finding another place to live. It's about understanding our place in the universe. If we find Earth 2.0, it could change the way we see everything. But seriously, if we do find a new Earth, who's going to be the first to claim beachfront property? As we push further into the cosmos, searching for that elusive twin planet, we're reminded of how precious our own Earth is. The hunt for Earth 2.0 may be ongoing, but it also deepens our appreciation for the world we already have. After all, in a universe so vast, Earth is still the only home we know. If the idea of discovering another Earth gives you chills, just wait until you hear about one of the worst disasters in space exploration history, the Challenger disaster. Click the link on your screen to dive into a gripping story of triumph, tragedy, and the enduring human spirit. See you there.